What's going on guys and welcome back to a fan game news video. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna call these yet. We could do like fan game Friday, something. I don't know, you guys, you guys can give me some name suggestions in the comments. Um, but recently I put on my community page and I put on Twitter, I was like, how often should I make fan game news videos? I was thinking once a week, um, but I wasn't too sure because there's a lot of news that comes out, but I don't know if I want you guys wanted to be spam with like news videos. But um, I was told that as long as there's news, I should just make a video. So I think I'm going to do it every Friday or just like once a week. I'll be making a fan game news uh, video. So like fan game Friday. I don't know if you guys have any other names. Let me know in the comments. Um, but the title of this video is probably having to do with this game. The next Glitch Attraction game. The people who are behind Glitch Attraction, Powerline Studios, um, have posted a lot of teasers about the gl new Glitch Attraction game. Uh, this is a nice look at a bathroom. Uh, a lot of bathroom promotion material that we're getting. Uh, a lot of bathrooms. This is a prize counter. There's a cool wheel. Wait, is that a Yeah, that's a cool... Is that a wheel? Yeah, yeah, you can see right there. There's a cool wheel. Uh, some nice balloons. Neon balloons. Uh, paper pals. This looks like a really cool room, actually. There's like 8-bit animatronics right there. It's like a... Is that a Foxy, a Bonnie, and then that's... I can't tell. This looks cool. I really like this. I really like this area. It's it's so nice looking. Um, but they released a video. I haven't watched it yet, so I really don't know what's in it. But it's called Meet Clancy Beyond Salvage Powerline Studios. We're going to watch this real quick. It's a minute long. And it's, I think they're just going to be talking about the game and the new character that they have introduced. So let's just watch. I'm kind of excited because the Glitch Attraction, first fan game I ever played uh, on for content. Foxy's humming, dumbing, and... Doomy dooming. Wait, that area looks so cool. Okay, so the stage is like spinning. Who is that? That's Foxy. It's brother! No, I'm just kidding. It's Foxy. But it's not. It is Foxy. That looks really cool. Look how sick he looks. What's that noise? He's got a bird! What? He's got a bird! He's got a... Foxy, what are you doing? Oh! Oh! Oh, he just... Wait, that's so cool. Ooh, he's got a bird! I mean, he absolutely just murdered that person, but that's sick! That is so cool. Not that... There's not... Honestly... I'm kind of surprised how many, like, there's not that many, like, birds for normal Foxy. That is such a cool, that is exactly the bird I would imagine that Foxy would have. Like, like, this is, this is the type, this is so cool. Oh, I'm so excited. I almost fell back in my chair out of excitement. Dude, oh, that's so cool. Okay, so this is Clancy, Foxy's bird. I'm happy that it's not a big animatronic. I'm happy it's just, like, Foxy's little companion. And then look, 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 watch Clancy and Foxy. Oh, he gives them like a nod of, like, of approval. They give each other a nod of approval. And then he throws them over. And then sprints. That's so cool. <laughs> That's sick. Dude, I love that. That makes me so happy. Oh, this game's gonna be so good. You can see Bonnie in their header photo. Um, I hope we get a better look at Bonnie soon. I don't know too much they've posted on here. Just not, not that much. Uh, you can see like the little game page. Which looks really cool. Clancy is sick though. Oh, I'm so happy that they're adding in like a their own animatronic to it. That is so cool. Clancy is sick. I actually love Clancy. Look at him. He's so cool. And he's got like a little peg leg. Oh, that's so cool. That is also a really good screenshot. Hey, give me that. Alright. That is really cool. Alright, alright. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop freaking out about Clancy. Clancy is really cool, though. Um, so, yeah, that's the news for the new Glitch Attraction game that they're working on. Um, I'm hoping that eventually... I hope it comes out soon. Uh, obviously, take they, I hope they take their time, because Glitch Attraction was an amazing fan game, and I hope they can just top it, like, over. Like, they can make it... They can take the Glitch Attraction and make it 50 times bigger, and I think that's what they're going to do with this one. Uh... So yeah, I'm excited to see what they do with Beyond Salvation. I'll leave the link to everything we look at in the description. So if you want to look at it for yourself, you can. 
Um, so the next thing we have is more news on the quote unquote biggest fan game. That's what I named it, but it was kind of just like a you know a little title, because this is the fan game that is being made by uh, Claustrophobic Knights, Jolly Four, FNAF Real Time, Honeybees, Fazer Facility, Virus J, Purgatorium, Forgotten Night Fred Bears, Finest Freddy's Remixed, Finest Freddy's Tuesday, Twisters, uh, Terror, and Bondi's Barnyard. Uh, if you want to see me talk about all these different games, the video FNAF news video before this. Um, I talk about all these different games and how I think this game could end up going because this is a huge, a huge project. You have all these people from different fan games working on one giant fan game. Uh, they started posting, they posted some teasers. Um, so this is what we're going to look at uh, real quick is this gameplay looking thing in a bathroom with a camera. So it looks like, I don't know if it's a sit and survive type thing. I don't think so, because it looks, there's a bunch of cigarettes on the floor. Who's smoking in a bathroom? Is that cigarettes? What is that? I don't know. Um, but I think this looks free roam because the way this camera's set up, it doesn't give you enough information. So I think this is, I, I'm pretty sure this is a free roam game, but this is one of the rooms. Uh, I guess probably going through the screenshots, you can see all the different rooms. Yeah, so you have, Bottom right is the kitchen. So kitchen, the entrance is here. It's boarded off. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's. I think this is gonna be a, a free roam. I think it's gonna be like in a like. It's gonna be kind of like a glitch attraction. I feel. Cause right here you have two locks and then wooden planks. You're for sure gonna have to get keys to unlock this and get a crowbar to break this down. For sure. For sure. There's no way. I I believe that is what I believe is gonna happen. Is it's gonna be like an escape room type FNAF game. I don't know how what they're gonna do, but they have so many people working on this. They could do it. Living room. Let's see. Is there any like clues I can look for? Like, hold on. If I look at this one, there's really nothing in this. But in this one, if I open this, I can't open it. New tab. Okay, that's okay. Okay, so we have like couch, a green carpet, uh, some windows, curtains, a TV. This is smoking tray. This kind of looks like. No, could it be like Afton's house or like Michael's house? Maybe. Maybe it is sit and survive. Okay, so so this room is the living room. So it goes bathroom, uh, bedroom, living room. It's bedroom, right? Or entrance, sorry. Bathroom, entrance, living room. And then this is to the bathroom. So there's a keypad that's to the bathroom called 8360. That's the code. Oh, so maybe it's... Okay, so, like, right here, there's, like, a little arrow. Wait, is this a monitor? This looks cropped. This is definitely cropped, but it's... It's weirdly cropped. It's like... Oh, no, that's the door frame. That's the door frame. Wait. No, it's not... Wait, what? Okay, so, look at my... Pers my, my, like, perspective of this is... I'm looking at this arrow as a, like, a monitor thing where you flip the monitors down. I'm looking at this as in, like, a... You flip sideways and opens like a notepad but right here it looks like there's a door like the door is right here but it looks like this piece of paper is under like it's graphic under the door seal i don't know i can't tell it looks weird but so it looks like there's a code to a door that leads to the bathroom so maybe it's like a free roam as in like point adventure like a point and click adventure instead of like sitting in an office that's what i'm thinking is gonna happen probably um, the last two you get, also, oh, now it's on this side. So why is it on this side now? But it was on the left before. Huh. What is that? Maybe is, is it, you look right if you press it? I don't know. That's, I don't know what that paper means. Interesting. Uh, so here's to the, to the living room. Uh, it's six, seven, four, one. Six, seven, four, one. So... I th it's gonna be like a like a escape room type thing. Oh, wait, there's a story page now. All right, story. Wait, there actually is a story. Wait, okay. After winning countless music awards and nominations, a mentally unstable rat and his friends rot away inside of a corrupt, decrepit apartment in the Bronx. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is that so specific? Purple Rat. The game's called Purple Rat. Wait. Why is this so specific? After winning countless music awards and nominations, a mentally unstable rat and his friends rot away in a decrepit, a decrepit 
apartment in the Bronx. Why the Bronx? <laughs> Wait, what? Story. One night, someone... One night, someone breaks into their apartment, and as quickly as they entered, they were knocked out and thrown inside of a vault in the home. After waking up, they are locked into a long standoff with Purple Rat and Co. Are you up to take the challenge? Purple Rat is a remake of a fan game or of a game we found on Game Jolt page called A Random Night at Purple Rats, where you sit and survive at, at, until 6 a.m. We thought it'd be funny to do a full remake of it. A Random Night at Purple Rats. Wait, what? Does this... No way. That is so funny. Wait, that's sick. Does this creator know? Like, is do they comment anything? Oh, they do know. <laughs> oh, and there's Otis two months ago. Oh, that's... <laughs> they're all here two months ago. No way. Wait, that's insane. Did they have this guy on the project? No. Wait, that's so cool. That is really... Hey, that is that is hilarious. That is such a bro. That's such a FNAF community thing to do. So basically, uh, the devs who are working on Purple Rat found this random game called A Random Night at Purple Rats, and they decided to remake the whole game. Um, because they just decided, why not? Uh, and they all commented on the page. This is sick. More innovative than most fan games nowadays. This is awesome. Saw an eleven out of ten. This is amazing. Josh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Dude, this guy, that, hey, if I was that guy, I'd feel like I'm on top of the world. You have a whole, like, you have, like, 12 fan games working on remaking your own game. That's interesting. Okay. That's cool. Uh, the story is going to be interesting and kind of funny. I'm excited to see. Um, here's a look at Purple Rats. Uh, he reminds me of I don't know what he reminds me of. He's kind of... Like, I guess he's, like, Poppy Playtime-ish. That's kind of when he, like, his face reminds me of, like, a catnap smile. But he, he's kind of his own thing. Um, also, why is there a Triforce here? Is that a Triforce? I think it's a Triforce. That's not the Triforce. I lied. It's just a triangle with a triangle inside of it. Um, so, Purple Rat. Uh, you can't really see much, but there's Purple Rat in one of the rooms. It might be the living room. I can't really tell what's back here. Kind of looks like a lamp. I don't know. Something. Uh, but that's the purple rat news. Uh, <laughs> now we know the origin of the game, which honestly makes it a lot, a lot funnier and a lot better in my opinion. That it's just some random fan game they found. Like, you know what? Let's get 12 really big fan games on this and just remake the whole game. You know, let's, why not? Let's just, why, why not? And it's going to keep the title of uh, best fan game of all time. All right, that's uh, that's what I'm going to give it. Uh, the biggest fan game of all time is keeping that title because Purple Rat is kind of peak. Not going to lie. All right, so uh, on a non-FNAF related note, uh, Don't Fret, a trailer we reacted to uh, maybe like a few weeks ago, maybe a month. I don't know. Uh, released a new trailer. So we're going we're gonna to watch it because I haven't watched it yet and I don't want to make a separate video on it. So we're going to watch it. It's a minute and 37 seconds. So yeah, uh, here's a, a shoe, a fret, I'm assuming. There's something on the box. We'll look at that later. Oh, wait, actually, I want to look at it now. I may be done, but I can help the others. C120. C3PO, like Star Wars? Okay. Uh, we've got like a, a TV. I love TVs. TVs are pretty cool. You can watch a lot of stuff on them. Oh, that's loud. Oh, I love the art style. I say it every time I look at this game. Oh, oh my goodness. Fast -track your this is so cool. Look how cool that looks. The of Look at the graphics! The I just, I'm looking at that, the TV's like edges. She just fell into water. Whoa, let's calm down. Let's calm down. What is that song? I like that song. Who made the soundtrack? Oh, it's made by Rocket Music. Of course it's gonna sound good. Someone is terrified. Is it Fret? Hey, I just met you. Hey, I just met you. Stop. Call me. Call me. What are you so afraid of? 
What are you so afraid of? Oh, I'm getting chills. Wait, why is this giving me chills? Oh, this is scary. If you have information, please call 209-283-1424. Should I actually call it? Don't fret. Don't fret. Should I call it? You guys, should I call it? I don't know if I'll be able to hear it on my, if it'll pick up on my mic. I should probably call it, huh? Should I call it? You know, let's call it. All right, we're going to call the number. Uh, I'll put it on speaker. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it. I'll, I'll try to see if you guys can. Uh, so what's the number? 209-283-1424. Uh, I'm calling it. I'm putting it on speaker. Can you guys hear this? I don't know if you guys can hear this. I don't think you guys can. It's just some guy saying, hello, something at Harmonic Tights. And he's talking. Uh, I can't, you guys can't really hear it. Um, maybe there's a video online of it. Let me see if I can find it. Give me one second. Okay, thank you to Longest Solo Ever. Uh, this is actually one of the, the voice actors in the game, apparently. Uh, but they have, uh, they have the phone call. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen from their thing. So you guys know what they're saying. Cause I kind of want to know what the phone call says. So. Better be sorry. So it's the conductor. Which is stupendium. That's stupendium. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, uh frets. Oh. So. So. Wait, so the conductor is good. So, okay. My theory, you know, I might make a separate video on just don't fret alone on what I think is going to happen in the game. That's what I'm going to do, I think. Because uh, I don't want to make this video too long. And this is a news video. You guys are here for news, not for me to theorize about don't fret. But I have some thoughts about that. And I need to talk about it in a video because that is a little interesting. Uh, so yeah, that's all the news for Don't Fret. Uh, there's the little phone call. It's pretty cool. Um, so we have a few more things. Uh, the next one is Altus Fright Reboot. I found this fan game, uh, somewhere. It showed up on my Twitter feed, or I saw it on YouTube, I think. I don't know, but it looks really cool. It's made by Mr. Hipster. We actually looked at this game, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we looked at something from Mr. Hipster, I'm pretty sure. Um, but they posted a video about a gameplay showcase. I haven't watched it yet, so I don't know if it's a troll or anything. But I kind of want to see it. It reminds me of uh, of Teelerland. If you guys know what Teelerland is, a uh, really good fan game. Uh, so yeah, this is this is this is the the gameplay the gameplay showcase. Let's see what they got. Altus Fright, Dachshund, and Mr. Hippers. That looks that's a really cool main menu, by the way. Uh, all props to you. Whoa. Okay, so the top left is is fear awake. No or yes. What? Oh. Oh, that's horrifying. So is fear the guy on the ground right there? And you got to like flash him maybe like nightmare Bal or nightmare balloon boy. Whoa, look at those cams. I mean, super glitchy. Maybe is my quality low? No, mine it's on HD. It's just Oh. So that's fear, I'm assuming. He like you have to flash him in the face when he stands up. <laughs> What's he flop down like that? <laughs> Wait, this is cool though. So there's a vent system too. Man, that guy really really can't catch a break. Huh? He keeps getting flipped in the face. Flash him. Oh. Flash him now. <laughs> he's not getting a chance. The second he shows up, he's getting hit with a, like a a thousand lumen flashlight. Interesting. Huh. This... I mean, we don't... You're not really getting much. You're getting kind of cams. Besides flashing this guy over and over. 
So what is the what is like the little square logo right there? What's that square? Is that where the animatronic is? It's just not fully like finished, so it doesn't go away when you put cams down. Is that like phantom animatronics right there when it glitches and someone's on the screen? Fifth night, at two a.m. They're doing a really good job. You're like not dying at all. Hey, you're really good at this. Maybe you're like a dev or something. <laughs> I think you are. It's like some weird googly eyes on the table. Oh yeah, that that was exactly what I was talking about. What? What? Wait, AI levels at 17. Panic AI level, dread AI level, fright, and fear. They turned all the AI levels up. There's nothing moving in the office though. I was looking for something moving moving in the office. Okay, I'm getting chills now. Cause I know they turned the level up and now I'm kinda scared. Oh wait, you're gonna die to him. Flash him! You forgot to flash him! What is that? So that glitchy thing, what does that do? Interesting. Okay, so that's the game where they don't have a finished game over screen. Let's look at that jump scare real quick. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell because everything's overlaid. Yeah, so everything's like overlaid on each other. So they'll probably fix it where like it pulls the camera down. Interesting. Uh, so let's look at these AI levels. They have fear, fright, dread, panic, night five, time, bent LV, anomaly AI. So Anomaly is probably the camera glitchy guy, this thing right there. Uh, and then Fear is the guy on the ground. So this is him being asleep right here. That's him asleep. And then Awake is when he's standing and you flash him. There's a weird googly eye thing, which at least I hope it's googly eyes. Um, interesting. Alta's Fright looks pretty good. Uh, I don't know if there's an original Alta's Fight because it's a reboot. I don't know exactly. I've actually... I haven't heard of Altus Fright, so maybe there is. Um, but it looks good. It looks good. I'm pretty excited. I mean, obviously, you know. Oh, wait, here's a better look at the jump scare. So, this is the jump scare you see in the trailer. He's got a lot of teeth. Like, a lot of them. It's a lot of teeth. Huh. The game looks good. I'm excited. Uh, maybe it has some Tealerland aspect. Probably not. Uh, I, I doubt it, but I hope we get another game like Tealerland eventually, because Tealerland was so addicting. It was so fun. I hope to get another Tealerland in the future. But this game looks really good. I'm excited. Uh, I like the camera system. Uh, I like this, the, like, the character names. The character names are cool, like Dread, Terror, uh, Illusion. They all look really good. They, they all, the, like, the names are really cool. Um, I like what you're doing with this game. I'll link the description, Mr. Hipster. Make sure to give them a follow on Game Jolt and follow the game page. Make sure, make sure to like it too. Uh, liking is very, very important. All right, the next game we have is Five Nights at Freddy's The Heaven's Fall. This one I've seen a lot actually. I don't know where I've seen it, but it's been like inescapable. Um, so recently they posted, hold on, make sure to like the game store page. Uh, most recently, hey, make sure to like the video too if you're watching still. No, I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, recently they uploaded what the puppet looks like in the game, which this is terrifying um, and kind of like freaky at the same time. Like this is, this is horrifying. Uh, it looks really good. It's like a porcelain doll type thing, um, which is cool. I, I like I like it a lot. I don't know who this is, but I, that's the puppet, and I don't know who that is. Uh, maybe they're called Thingy. Maybe that's that is it's Thingy, not Puppet. Um, so you have like this is Freddy, uh, and then this is their Bonnie, uh, and this Foxy, Foxy the comedian. You know, I bet you're a bit of a jokester, huh, Foxy? This game show thing isn't working sometimes. Um, they have like an alligator. It reminds me of the uh, Where's My Water. The, the alligator from that game. That's a throwback. Uh, here's Endo 1. This looks like it's a mid jump scare. Or it's like a cam. Like a like a free cam or something. It kind of looks like a jump scare. Um, here's Chica. Chica's pretty cool, actually. Chica's got like a nice chef outfit. Uh, interesting. Like a skirt. Pretty cool. 
Oh, she, she just got glasses. Like granny glasses. Respectfully. Respectfully, Chica. Respectfully. You have granny glasses. That's really cool. I like that. Who is that? Okay. Uh, here's a better look at Freddy. Freddy's got a nice vest. Nice velvet vest. I actually want that. Can I have that? Like, I want that in real life. That's kinda, it's kind of nice. I actually want that. Um, here's Bonnie. Bonnie maybe is like a gardener type thing, maybe. Also, why are they in the back rooms? I just realized they're in the back rooms. Oh, no. Or it could just be a party room. But it looks like the back room's party room. Um, who is this? Samuel. Samuel the cat. Ew, you're scary. But you're cool, but you're scary. Look at that smile from literally chin to chin. Wait, chin to chin. Cheek to cheek. Jeez, chin is down here. There's only one chin. That is, that is terrifying. Um, I like the, the purple hat, Fred Bear vibes. Uh, here's a really good look at Sam. Wait, yeah, this is Samuel. No, that's not. Wait, that's not Samuel. That's a different character. Samuel has a pink nose. Is that Foxy? That's a better look at Foxy. So Samuel is there. That's Foxy. And this is a better look at Endo 1. Uh, I like Samuel. Cat in the Hat vibes. Big cat. Like the live action Cat in the Hat. Big vibes from that. And this is the puppet. Puppet looks really good too. The poopit, as Daka would say. Looks good. Um, I don't know too much about this game. Actually, we could just read this. Year of 1983, you're the, an investigator who hired to unmask the secrets of Freddy Fazbear Entertainment, pretending to be a new security guard. Soon you discover something strange that will make you never want... make you never wanted to go there? That will make you never wanted to go there. Okay, so they may have to fix this a little bit. It's a little wrong, but that's okay. Unless I'm just reading wrong, but soon you, will dis you would discover something strange that would... That will make you never wanted to go there. Okay, it's it's messed up. They, they changed that to want. But this one looks good. Um, it's just just a little Toby. It's really good. Man, Fnaf, yo, Fnaf fans are so talented. Gosh, are you guys so good at stuff? Everybody's so like talented. Whoa! Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is Mangle. Oh, Mangle's terrifying. Very chubby. Like, grab grab Mangle's cheeks. Okay. Well, let's find it to Freddy's The Heavens Fall. A good-looking game. A very unique animatronic style. I'm very, very excited to see what they do with this. Um, sometimes I look at these models, and I'm like, these look so, like, surreal. Like, they look so good to be... Like, they look so good that they just aren't in a game. They're just like a like a VHS series. But then I realized that this is a game and that's really cool. It's really cool. Uh, so yeah, the next one is When the Lights Go Dim. Uh, this is just, nothing really has come out about this, this game. I just saw it on Game Jewel and it looked really cool. So I just kind of want to make a little, a little, uh, just a little tribute to it because it looks really cool. And I think it's going to be coming out eventually. Um, that is terrifying. I did not notice that before. So this is Nightmare Foxy in the game. Um, Nightmare Foxy has a mouth inside of his mouth. So right here you have the endo jaw. And then you have a flesh mouth with a fleshy tongue. That is disgusting. Uh, light switch. There's a light switch in the bottom left though. That's pretty cool. I'll leave that on the whole night. But that's disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. That is like, that is like super disgusting. Okay, so we have Nightmare Bonnie in then when the lights go dim uh which i really like what they're doing with the nightmares the like fleshy humanish like model i don't know like because because like look at this right you have the animatronic uh skeleton or like the the shell these are called shells i guess and then you have the fleshy thing right here like the whole like fleshy bits under but then you have the wires coming out like their intestines falling up, but it's wires instead, which I think it's cool. That's like really cool. Um, really cool design. It's going to be terrifying. FNAF 4, least favorite FNAF game because it is difficult, but whatever. FNAF Marathon is going to happen soon anyways. Um, this door handle is very shiny. I just want to say that. Get that out of there. Uh, we need to turn on that light switch, please. But Bonnie looks cool. I really like Bonnie's kind of like icky, moldy rotten 
not even rotten. It's, your body doesn't even look that rotten. Like your like actual body doesn't look very rotten. But I don't know what a rotten body looks like, so I can't like give you a rotten scale. Um, who is that? Is that Freddy? Freddy, what? What are you doing? Why is Freddy always? Why is Freddy always outside of windows in FNAF games? Ghost Attraction, he's Fredbear's outside the window. Uh, there's Joy Creation, he's outside of a window. There's this game, he's outside of a window. Freddy, stop being outside. I actually learned how to get in. Do they just they just lock the door on him when he gets inside? So it's just everybody else gets in and they lock the door behind him and Freddy's always left out. Is that what's going on? Is he tapping the window with his finger right there? That'd be horrifying. Imagine you're like searching for like Foxy and you hear Freddy tapping on the window. Ugh, it's gross. Ugh, that's disgusting. That'd be so cool though. The next screenshot is you looking under a bed. Oh, I hate. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. So there's like a Toy Freddy, Toy Freddy and Toy Bonnie uh, models for like little tiny toy. Uh, they turn the toys into toys, like actual toys. And they look actually really cool. I like the Bonnie one. Uh, the Freddy one looks cool too. But who's going to be under here? Is it going to... Who's? Is it Freddy? Is Freddy going to like get in from the window maybe somehow? Uh, I don't know. But looking under the bed kind of scares me and reminds me of a, of a rat. A certain rat that goes under, under beds. Uh, this is the whole bedroom. Actually, this is kind of cool. This is actually really cool. Uh, you have these, like, old-time... Dude, I haven't had one of these in a while. Uh, it's like a little mat, and you have, like, a little play city, and then just a bunch of roads. You just get little fake cars and drive around on them. Uh, they have a lava lamp. TV, computer setup. You got the window there. Freddy's gonna... This is a far run. How is this child gonna run all the way to the door, and then all the way to the window? You're dead by the time you get there, No. Interesting. I like this room, though. It's a real, like, actually kid-esque looking room for back then. Um, when does this game take place? Oh, it doesn't say. This is a game... This game is a simple, short fan game with no story. Just made for fun between two friends. Can you survive when the lights go dim? That's nice. So it's just an, a nice little game that they're making. There's no... It's not like, you know, supposed to be some big, giant project. It's just there for, for them to have fun. Let me make sure this is liked. Okay, good. Um, so that's cool. I like that. I like some fan games don't have to all be high production. If it's just two friends working on a game, it's good. Unless it's Garn a Band Band. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, so yeah, it looks good. Uh, this is just a game drill page. Okay. Um, so that's all the news I have for now. Um, if more stuff happens, I will update this, this video. Obviously, if the video is uploaded and you're watching it right now, it won't be updated. But here's the cupcake, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching Fan Game Friday. I don't know. If you have a better name, let me know in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave that subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goose Attraction, yeah! See ya!